do appear to be having a problem with going live. Oh, here we go. Take two, guys. Okay, take two. I'm back in. Take two. Let's see if I can. I'm in. All right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, sorry about that. Like I said, I had a rough night, and I'm really not focusing too well. I'll delete this first video in a few minutes. I uh, won't. After a few minutes after we're done. Anyways, good morning, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful Wednesday night. Um, I had a bit of a rough night, so I got a bit of a rough, a rough start this morning. Uh, I also had to rush my butt over to. Uh, the store real quick because we had, didn't have stuff for my kid for breakfast. So, anyways, um, I went ahead and painted yesterday. Like I said, I love two hours of nice hot sunshine from Florida, and we get a really beautiful, beautiful paint job. Um, again, I'm live, so come say hi. I will see who comes in and who shops. I'm sorry, guys. I did uh, try to. Um, I'm gonna go and see if I can delete that first video real quick. So give me a couple of seconds here, guys. Um, hopefully it doesn't do anything to this stream. I'm just going to bring up another window and go in there. Should be allowed to, should be able to. So they say when I saw the, in the video I saw last night, um, I'm supposed to be able to go in. And I'm supposed to be able to take care of this one. And this is one minute ago, so that's the last one. Okay, so this one I should be able to delete. So let's see, delete post and delete it. So that one's gone. Yep, there we go. Okay. Hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Um, I should be able to delete. everything turned on. Hopefully, so you can see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, so I did that adjust the, um, yep, there the we go. Okay. The microphone, so hopefully it hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. I did notice that my um, I should be able to delete. everything turned on. Hopefully, you can see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, I did so that adjust one's the, um, the other Yep, there we go. Okay. The 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 microphone, so hopefully hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Um, I should be able to delete. Hopefully, you see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, I did so that adjust the, um, the other Yep, there we go. Okay. Hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Um, I should be able to delete. Hopefully, you see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, I did that adjust the um, Yep, there we go. Okay. Hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Um, I should be able to delete. Hopefully, you see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, I did adjust the, um, the other Yep, there we go. Okay. The microphone. So hopefully, hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Notice that. Um, I should be able to delete. Hopefully, you see it pretty clear. Can you hear me better today? Um, I did adjust the, um, the other Yep, there we go. Okay. The microphone. So hopefully, hey, Robert, I see you, brother. I do see you, brother. I do see you. I'm here. Notice that. I should be able to delete. I don't know why I'm not able to sell that's why because I'm on the wrong one. Okay, here we go. I'm here. Yes, sir, Edward. It's a K it's a Kenworth. Um, challenge. It's called the Kenworth Ch AMT Kenworth Challenge. It's a transit. It's called the Ken. Sorry, Kenworth. Oh my goodness, rough night, guys. It's a. It's called the AMT Kenworth Challenge. It's a. It's the transit mixer. Uh, this one gives you options. You can make it attractive, or you can make it the actual. In your corners, you should see what it's going to look like. Uh, I got as close to box top as possible. I changed a couple things around, and the more I looked at the instructions, everybody. Um, that bracket that I was telling you that goes in here, a transmission that was supposed to go in here in between here, but I really could there was no way for me to put the transmission for the mixer, I guess it's just a transmission converter, because it hooks up to this and hooks up to the mixer inside the box, but when I put the motor in here or the hydraulic pump in here, I couldn't get the airlines in the way they wanted them. So I literally took it out and took the motor out, and I'm going to probably mount the motor inside the box here somehow and make it look, you know, proper. So anyways, anyway, we also got the, we also got the main rail for the mixer done. Mixer sits up here like so. So, um, we got the rear. I painted that as well. Painted the rear cap as well because those are things that are going to hold it in place right away while I'm hooking up all the shoes and stuff. Uh, but right now today, like I said, we're going to go ahead and finish up the interior. I don't think I'm doing much more to it. I kind of like that dark brown look and white. Um, I kind of like stands out in a little bit of chrome. Oh, I do have to put, I do have to make a little mark on it. I want to get the, 
Let me go ahead and do this real quick, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the CB radio into place. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put some windows on. We'll put the cab aside. And I'll start working on it. I'll start working on them. I'm just going to scratch a little bit of paint off here. Hang on, guys. I want the CB radio to go right there. And I'll hand paint it once it dries up before we put it in. Um, so I'm going to be working on the glass today. It's going to be kind of a boring day. Um, there's the hood, guys, for those who haven't seen it. Um, I do appreciate you coming in, uh, Edward. It's very cool to have somebody new come in. Um, Robert's here. Robert's my Robert. Uh, shoot, uh, Robert Shugru. Oh God, did I say that wrong again, brother? Shugru. No, I said that right. I said that right. Shugru. Okay. Anyway, uh, my friend Robert Shugru here uh, is pretty much my. Um, I guess you would call him like well, when you went to concerts and followed concerts around. What do they used to call those? <laughs> um, Oh my god, I can't even remember. I'm having such a bad day. I took my medicine late too, so my, my brain's not quite working yet, guys. Sorry. Um, anyway, yeah, we're, um, I did the interior. Like I said, I didn't do anything spectacular to it. You know, I figured it's a work truck. I wanted a dark brown kind of, you know, um, I want to say not leather, but kind of a, a, not a suede either. What is it called? Um, anyway, I want I wanted kind of a dark interior, and I just wanted just the dashboard to show up because I did the steering wheel wide and no, just a little tiny touch up. But we're going to be doing the windows today. And then I am going to be doing <clears throat> installing the main rail for the mixer parse portion. Once I get that all up, and it looks like it goes up right there. I had it back in place, sorry. There's a little pin somewhere I saw. There it is. Okay, so, so anyways, I'm going to be putting the mixer in. You can see the rail goes right on. Um, once I glue it all down, I'll have to, of course, you know, take some spots out of here to go the paint. Uh, we did everything we've done. Um, Edward, if you want to see, uh, Dash turned out pretty good. I didn't do too bad. Of it. Like I said, I wasn't feeling so great, you know. So I did the best I could for not feeling great. But I don't think it looks too bad. What do you think, Robert? I mean, at least you, at least it stands out. That's the way I look at it, you know. And I, I went ahead and did the shifter knobs white as well as the steering as the steering wheel, um, just to kind of give it a little bit of a white accent. And if you look way down there in the bottom, you can see little pieces of chrome. That's the step. That's the brake and the clutch. Um, but I'm going to put the CB radio in before I paint it. I don't know why I did that. That's like a dumb thing to do, but that's what I do. Um, also, I noticed on these lately, any of these CBs, guys, watch out for this. Look at this. Um, these CB radios, they used to be just come with a square molded uh, body. They have a little cap on the back now that you can actually hook an antenna to. You guys ever seen anything like that? Look at that. You see it. Right there. Here's my sticker. Where's my, where's my stick? There it is. Okay, right here, guys. Check it out. Right here. Right there. Let me get a better look at it. Let me see. Okay, there we go. See it on next to my finger right here? There's literally, and it's molded. It's not a piece of the rail that I didn't cut off. It's literally molded as a round shape with a little hole in it. So you can actually stick a cable that run, that would run, you know, like everybody else would see. You'd stick a CB radio in. you get it where you want it. And then you'd run your antenna to it, your power wires and stuff, unless it's in the dashboard. You know, it would basically be seen. So they actually gave you the option to run a wire on your dashboard. <laughs> to make it look even more realistic, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me. So, why do I don't want my coffee always right in front of me? Jeez. Again, sorry guys, I'm, it's a rough start and rough night, so. Uh, anyways, um, what do you think, Rob? Did that come out okay, buddy? I'm really, I'm a, little, I'm a little shaky today. Not quite as much as I was on Monday, but I'm a little shaky today. Um, so, I'm going to be taking my time, guys, so we may not get a lot done. I'm kind of going to talk my way through this. Um, and yesterday, just so you know, Edward, um, we went through and I talked about making rust um, from SOS pads. If you want that information, um, you can go look at the other video from yesterday. We do I do this every morning at about 10. I try to do it anyways. Um, people come, people go. Uh, they step in for five minutes. You know, I know everybody works during the day and everything. I'm, I'm retired, disabled, so I decided 10 a.m. was before I had to get my kid his lunch and before I had to get all my other stuff done and start working on the trailer and stuff. I could do a little morning and wake up a little bit with you guys. Um, so I try to do this every morning right around 10 a.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. So um, push the notification and everybody will let, everybody will, or excuse me, Facebook will let you know when I'm live. Uh, my apologies for the sound again, guys. I'm getting, a, I'm, my, the mic's microphone I'm getting is about this big. And Robert, my wife, agrees with you. I need a lapel uh, uh, microphone. So I'm going to be getting one of those too. I just got to save up for it, guys. Sorry. Um, I do, trying to do all this without asking my wife for anything. Uh, trying my best anyway. She, she's, she's a wonderful woman. She supports me in this. She knows that this is my out. Uh, this is basically, so if you don't know, Edward, um, I'm disabled. I stay home um, because I, I got hurt a while back and the past five years has been kind of rough. So my doctor basically took me out of work. Um, I mean, he didn't 
write it down and send it all to the state and everything, but he basically looked at me and said, you're screwed, you're done. Um, and the last time I went to my doctor, which was about two weeks ago now, um, I had more nerve damage to my left side and tendon and muscle damage as well. More, um, so it was more pronounced is what he was saying. So that being said, I pretty much have nothing to do during the day, but bother you guys on Facebook with all my stupid, crazy games and posts and builds. Um, if you haven't seen Breakfast Edwin, go check out the breakfast menu, dude. You'll like it. Let me know what you think. Um, put some words in the comments and tell me what you think about the breakfast menu. Um, I try to pick members that haven't been picked, but sometimes I do randomly pick, you know, if I back something up and it's an R and it pops up as, let's say, Robert Shugrew, I'll pop him into the place. Um, but I do have a book. I do try my best to keep track of all of my um, members and family family members. Um, I have also this one here for PA. That one was TMA, the Model Asylum. This one's for Plastic Addictions. Um, all my stuff that I put out there, guys, uh, any links to pictures that I take or anything of that nature, I write everything down. Um, this way, if anybody says, hey, you're not supposed to be using that picture, or hey, you infringed on my rights, blah, 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 I can take it down real quick. Uh, I use this, for everybody knows, for the windows, I use this glue. I don't know what everybody else uses, but I've found, I know it's, it takes a lot longer to set up. It really does take, I mean, I usually put the windows in and let them sit 24 hours um, with either a weight on them or a piece of tape on them to hold them in place. Anyway, uh, I use this stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get my tube here, my tip. And get me ready to rock and roll. So again, sorry about the late start, guys. I'm usually ready for you guys. Um, and like I said, Edward, if you want to see the real, the kit, it's like on the corner. Um, it's going to be pretty big. It's going to be very, very big, actually. Um, my mix, uh, my um, dump truck that I did, my auto car dump truck, is you know uh, pretty big. I mean, next to the trailered ones, you know, it, it's if it's just a tractor for just a just a tractor and a body and a bed, it's pretty big. So, but this is going to be bigger. So, I also would like to say thank you to Mr. Robert. Mr. Robert is going to send me. My friend Rob is going to send me a front a bulldozer, uh, 125 scale from AMT, and I'm going to build it here, and we're going to do an open box of it as well. So, thank you very much, Mr. Rob. Uh, right up front, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy with uh, knowing that I'm got a, got a build coming, and you guys, you guys are awesome. Um, I appreciate any and all donations and all, any and all help that I can get to keep this channel up and running and this videos live all the time. Um, I'm not a rich man. I'm not a poor. I'm, well, I can't say I'm not a poor man. Well, I'm not a rich man because I have a wife and children that love me a lot. So that's all that counts. Um, so enough with the BS. Also, before we get done, I don't know. Do you do you um, want to check out the Rust, Edwin? Uh, I can show it to you real quick on a piece of paper. Um, I also made my own um, um, what I call mud paint. Um, what I'm gonna call mud paint. It's got it's black with a little bit of uh, clear dirt or clear dirt. Oh my god, with a little bit of light sanded brown dirt in it from Florida down here. We everything dries out quick during the day. Um, let me stop talking and start focusing on the build. Anyways, um, as everybody can see, I'm working on the number eleven basically today. Um, supposedly, I didn't realize yesterday when I did the painting. Not only should I have painted this and this, but I should have painted this and these. So, and this after I built it. So I have to build these things today. So we're going to build these things today and get everything ready to be put together. And then I think number 12 is actually having thing in mixer component left side. Okay, so this is the next thing that we will be doing is number number 12. Um, then 13 pretty much shows the mixer end cap. So 11, 12, and 13, Rob, just so you know, is going to be all mixer components. So um, as like I said, as you can see, I, I opened up the, the rear mount the body so the body sits down in the rear mount like it's supposed to um, I clean that out and I also gonna clean the edge off here after I get all the windows in the interior uh, the interior is basic Rob but it really I, I think it came out fairly decent for the way I felt on Monday and Tuesday doing it um, I did a little bit Tuesday night I was supposed to do builds last night brother I'm sorry I, I didn't get anything done last night um, the only thing I actually did was really was, was paint a few parts um, <clears throat> and that pretty much took it out of me and the heat just takes it out of me now didn't used to um, so I do my best to keep myself focused on the interior of the house the best I can. I don't know, like I said, I don't live in Taj Mahal, but I have my little studio set up for you guys. Uh, if you haven't seen it, I have a sideboard over here that I created. I also am on YouTube, uh, Plastic Addictions Anonymous on YouTube. Uh, also on um, TikTok, which Robert, by the way, I noticed you were there. Thank you very much for coming in and being, with the, and being one of my supporters for anything that I do. It's an awesome thing that you do that. Uh, TikTok, I am Plastic Addictions. You'll find my white freight liner as my profile picture. 
It's a white Freightliner dump truck. It's a teal with a red back. So check that out. Go check me out. There's probably, I don't know, 10 videos out there. Just funny little 30 minute, or, I'm sorry, 30 second, 60 second, 15 second vids. Uh, it's normally just a good morning from sunny South, Joe from sunny South Florida, that kind of stuff. Um, I talk about what I do on my trailer and things like that. So if you haven't seen the YouTube, go to YouTube. It's Plastic Addictions Anonymous. Uh, please like, subscribe, and follow so um, um, I know that you were there. Also, um, if you're into uh, Instagram, I'm on Instagram as well. It's Plastic underscore Addictions underscore Anonymous. Or I had to put it all as one word, and that's just crazy. Uh, so it's plastic underscore addictions underscore anonymous is the Instagram uh, uh, app that we are on. Uh, again, the YouTube app, the YouTube is plastic addictions anonymous. Their Gmail, their email address is plastic addictions anonymous, all one word at gmail.com. So if you guys want to send any pictures out, like I was telling, trying to tell everybody, if you guys send pictures out to my email. Or even PM me. I really don't care because I'm, I'm usually under Joe Hudson or I'm usually under Plastic Addiction Anonymous either way. Um, so if you PM me uh, pictures, you like if you build something and it's you know uh, a model or something, you want me to put it out, a, put a picture out of it on the show, I'll be glad to, man. I'll make you a little picture just like I did here with the Plastic Addictions and the cement mixer and the Welcome Live and stuff. And I'll even tag your name underneath you guys. Send me stuff to have content put out on my videos and I'll be glad to. You know, I don't mind whatsoever. Um, matter of fact, I would enjoy the heck out of having somebody else's pictures to look at other than just mine. Um, excuse me while I move the camera down here again, guys. But as you can see, um, I'm here sitting at my desk. I created this little board next to me. Oh, looks like my wheel was a little bit off. Um, but I created this board next to me just because the camera pushes down my, as you can see, my chair is down here. Uh, pushes everything. It shows everything down my hallway where we sleep, my kids and stuff. Well, you guys don't need to watch my kitchen anyway. Um, so I created that. Um, and I just kind of work, like, just like I said, I'm, it's me, I'm just kind of, I just kind of work and do things, uh, right here at my computer desk, uh, I hope everybody can hear me see, oh, this is my, this is my Zeuser, he's my build buddy, he always comes over and sticks his nose in where it don't belong, even when I'm blowing and I'm shaky, um, he's, um, he's, he is, he's, he's not a trained emotional support dog, but since we've gotten him, and when I get sick, he, um, he knows us, you can, you can tell that he, when he, you know, he comes over here and just tries to stay near me that he knows that um, I'm having a rough day and he just comes over and tries to stay near me. Um, that or I've got food in my hand. <laughs> um, he's a great Pyrenees. He's four years old. We rescued him from the Broward County Humane Society four years ago. He was only uh, 12 weeks old. Um, I'll put a picture up tomorrow so you guys can see what he looks like. Um, but he's a rescue. He's from up, up north. I think he came from Alabama or um, um, Tennessee or Georgia or somewhere. They had some flood or something, and he was abandoned on a, de a doorstep or something of that nature. And my wife saw him on Local 10 News here. They do like a pet adoption weekend, Saturday or whatever. They do it on Saturdays. And he was on there as a tiny little puppy, and so was his sister. You know, we were really in the black labs. His sister was black, looked perfectly black like a lab, but she wasn't. She was also Airedale and lab. So we went to get her, and we never made it to her cage because I saw him on the video... And I asked to see him first before we saw the sister because we were debating if we were going to just do one or do the brother and the sister pair. Um, when they brought him in, he literally, when they sat him on the floor, he literally went, no, get down, get down, get down, get down. He literally went, you know better than that. You can't get up here with my kids. You know better than that. Um, he literally went and hid underneath the desk where she was doing the paperwork and stuff. And, um, you know, then he crawled around underneath the little bench that I was sitting on and sat, laid down underneath me. So I sat down on the floor, and he was just so, so cage shocked, and I think that's really what it was. He was he was so not understanding of what was going on that I felt my in my heart for him and said, no, 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 we're gonna take him. He's already having problems with being here, and he ain't been here very long. So um, we ended up with a, a local ten celebrity in our house. <laughs> so we got to the we got to the building before he ever got back from the news. Um, so my as soon as I got back from work, and my wife says, hey, honey. And I came into my computer being covered in dogs. At the time, I didn't know it was a period, period, Great Pyrenees, but and my and the TV was covered with dogs. So my wife was basically looking this animal up. Uh, she knew it, he was a mix of Pyrenees and Lab. So she wanted to see what was going on, and she started looking everything up. Anyway, I walked through the little long story short. She says, "We got to go to the Humane Society." Or no, we got to go. She says, "Can we go to the Humane Society?" I see something, and I looked up at the screen. I was like, "Okay, let's go now." And we actually we were told that we were actually there before the before the crew that took him to the news ever got back from the news station. We were sitting there waiting. So when he came in, 
Um, we said we wanted to look at him because he was the one on the news, but we also wanted to check out his sister. But I, we never checked out his sister because he was just so, um, he was just so thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. And so far he's been an amazing dog. He's a bit of a knucklehead sometimes, but he's a very loving dog. And he definitely takes care of me and he definitely worries about me. I know that. As you can see with his head in my lap, he knows I'm struggling. Um, if I'm talking too much, you guys, tell me to shut the hell up. Okay, you you watched the earlier one already, Rob? <laughs> yes, I do. I have my on-the-air light going. Here it is right here, brother. There it is. I got it on. You're right. I keep forgetting to do that as well. So, yes, I do. I am on the air. Hey, Dave. What's going on, brother? Sorry, I didn't see you come in right there. Uh, we're all doing good. We're still working on the transit mixture, and I'm still running my mouth. Um, I think I do with you guys. I do more talking than building, but... I like it because I get to say good morning to you guys and um, check out what you guys are happening for the day. So, morning, 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 everyone. I appreciate it. My heart goes out to everybody, and thank you very much for coming and hanging with me. Um, I don't mean to, be, mean to be a pain in everybody's butt with all these live vids and all this work that I try to do with the video uh, in and out, but I try to get it right before I go 100% live. Uh, I did notice, again, like I said, I did look at the other videos uh, on the YouTube that I do directly to YouTube and not go through Facebook. So, um, it, it's, it's got to be somehow Facebook is dropping the, um, the hertz of the, or the, whatever it's called, of the sound is why it's going so low. <clears throat> because all my videos that I do from this camera, and I even thought the same thing, that the camera, it might be the camera, but it's not. All the videos there that I did with just into YouTube all came out perfectly loud. So, Check those out, guys. I'm going to try to keep it on. I'm, I'm, I'm recording at the same time so I can put them out there later. I forgot to do that yesterday. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and start the window. So I'm going to get a napkin. i got to get my windows out of my box. As you see, I clean everything up at night, Rob. Uh, you, you gave me that horror story about your damn dang log trailer. And I have a cat, and I know she gets up here. So I, I, every night now, I put everything away except for the main build, which I put up here. <laughs> so she can walk all around. She wants. She can't hurt anything. All this stuff gets put away. Um... Also, just so you know, Kevin, uh, ow, excuse me, I made the mud, um, you talking about the rest, did I not show you guys, Robin, I'm going back to, I know you use Mod Podge, you told me about that, I remember you talking about that, um, but here's the rest, I also still, I also have another one. This is the, what I would call my fine rust, is what I'm making. I've never done this before, guys, like I said, so it really is just a, just a, it's really just practice trial and error with me here. I have never done a weathering, but I like these videos that I saw about how they make the rust. Um, and this was a pretty cool idea, so I tried it, because I knew I had SOS pads here, it was an easy try. So it's just SOS pads and uh, a little bit of water, and you let it sit until the water gets absorbed in it, and then the metal rusts, and... Then you can either break it up or use it in big pieces. I'm doing one right now that I'm going to have, um, like, bigger pieces. Also, I have an old piece of metal outside that I saw is rusted that has big flakes and stuff like that that I'm going to scratch off and put into one of these little containers as well. Um, so, And then I'm going to bug somebody, anybody who's really good at weathering, I need you to PM me. Um, Oh, you want me to trade my, you want me to trade my, are you looking to, you, you want me to trade this? Is that what you're talking about, Dave? I don't know, man. That's my wife's favorite bill. She might, have, she, she might kill me. You may have to talk to her, brother. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I'm super glad. And again, I'm going to say thanks. Yeah, I think Dave wants my Coca-Cola truck. Uh, Dave, that, um. Uh, Western Star is actually uh, stretched two and a half inches. So it is actually 14 and a half inches long. Um, I don't have it closed in. It's up here. It's, it's just about to get it. Actually, the way I have it is I have my, I don't have a picture of it, but I have my uh, portable parking lot hooked up to my IH4300. And then right above that, the next shelf is my uh, uh, Coca-Cola uh, vehicle. Um, my son bought me this for last Christmas, and my wife wants me to put lights in it in a little, in a little swinging box. Yeah, yeah. Um, Amazon has both of them. Amazon has both of them, Dave, if you're, if you're an Amazon. Um, I got both of those on Amazon. 
So, and I think the truck was 39 or 43, and the trailer was, I think, um, 29 or 39. Excuse me. Anyways, um, so Rob, if you, I don't know if you're um, really good at weathering. I know there's a bunch of people on our groups that are. Um, very soon, I'm going to be um, getting your dozer, and I'm going to get the I'm going to get a low boy, and I want to I have a yeah yeah I understand that brother believe me I I do um, uh, that's why I say I I can't keep asking my wife she's she's my only support here um, since uh, a while back uh, and I try my best not to ask because I know she's she she pays for everything. Um, including my medical bills, which is kind of, um, well, I have insurance, but she still has to pay the, you know, the, the what do they call it, um, portion that I have to pay anyways, the cost of um, patient's portion. Anyways, um, and I'm running out of glue too, I see. I don't want a bunch of glue, so i got to get some more glue. All right, so let's put the CB radio in, and then I'm going to move on to the glass. Uh, Rob, like I said last night, I also, ooh, I didn't put my tip on. Last night I also um, went ahead and put the visor on. So the visor's all on and in place now, um, and it's it's perfectly, like I said, it's perfectly ledged right on where it's supposed to go. There's no, you can't see underneath it, you can't see through it. So um, that's on. I did something last night. I painted. Okay, I didn't do any builds. Yeah, I know. I get you. That's what I was saying. You're looking to trade for the for the truck. Um, uh, I don't know, brother, because um, like I said. My wife's favorite thing, she really wants me this Christmas to have it lit up, and she wants to use it as a centerpiece. She's um, she's constantly telling me that she loves my builds, and this is why she does it, because she knows it makes me happy, and she knows I like to build big trucks. And um, She actually got me started. I stopped doing it 35 years ago. Long story short, I stopped doing it 35 years ago when we got married. Um, life life got us, and we had to you know move along with our lives, so I did, didn't do that. I was working two jobs. I was really tired, so I didn't have any time to really build. And on the weekends when I wasn't building, I was working on my cars. So, uh, 2019 Christmas, my wife asked me, you know, what I wanted for Christmas, and I, I guess I didn't give her a solid enough answer. Um, and none of this was around uh, then. I didn't have any YouTube. I didn't have any Facebook groups. I didn't have any of the pro any of the stuff that I had. So basically, I've gathered all this stuff up from um, kits. Rebuilders finding crap at garage sales, uh, finding stuff in uh, bulk piles. Like all my all my boxes and all my containers, they all came out of bulk piles for free, guys. Um, I just looked at my local uh, trash pickup times and dates and went around looking. And they, 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 these people are throwing away. I have three more on my back porch for when I get up north. So I, I believe me. I feel. Oop, I just knocked that off again. So I feel you, Dave. I really do, man. With the with the having the the barter, but I I I do. I feel you, brother. Believe me. Um, my last job that I actually, phys physical job that I actually did was a, um, duck coop for a, a lawyer friend of my wife's. Um, she had ducks all over her yard and she was caring for the ducklings and stuff. Um, hey, that's, uh, you know, they come out beautiful. They really do, Dave. Um, I was very, very happy with it. And I was very happy with the build. Um, at first, I didn't have the right chrome to go around the thing, and I had the front painted red when I first got it. And then I started looking at the box thinking, you know, that looks that, that does look better chrome. So I went ahead and um, cleaned it all off and um, stripped it. Uh, brake fluid really does work wonders. I didn't think it would. I've seen that all over, this, all over the year, and I've learned so much from everybody here. So um, I am just trying to get a little building at a time, talk to you guys for a little while. Um, love seeing my buddy Rob. Uh, like I said, Dave, I don't know if you heard, but he's sending he's sending me a bulldozer, and I'm going to build it live here and do an unboxing of it. Um, <clears throat> um, no, I'm not trying to rush you or nothing, Rob. It's perfect. Whenever you whenever you got it, brother, whenever you can do it. Um, but he's generous enough. He's, he's given it to me to build. Um, he said it wasn't really a donation to the YouTube. It was more of a just gift to me that I could either build it on my own time or I could do it. But if you guys send me something and you guys really want me to have it or you really, you know, it's not something you're not doing, and it's something I enjoy. I enjoy any AMT kit from way back when that need to be retooled to the, to the new release stuff that I like. Um, I'm also looking at the two new GMCs, just so everybody knows, so watch out for those. Uh, also, sometime between now and December, I'll be getting a 1940s Willys pickup truck and a 1940s sedan. Um, my wife also wants me to do the coupe, so I'll probably be getting all three of those. There's, in one of my other videos, I showed those, I think, or on Facebook. Excuse me, uh, my sunburn is killing me. Um, I'm not burnt, I'm just 
dark and you know how you you got hit on your back and then the skin gets dark and it starts to dry out it really itches well dude man i zit you <laughs> um so don't don't go away too long um this week come back and whenever i go in live because i'm going to be using my phone next time sometime either later today or tomorrow morning i plan on starting on these steps on my trailer i try to give you guys something other than just me running my mouth um building so you guys come hang out with me and i'll talk to you while i'm working on my trailer No, no, I, I, Dave, believe me, brother, I, I feel the same, I do the same thing, like I said, it, it's easier to, it's easier to work it on my own, um, I do have some computer skills, uh, from when I got hurt, the state uh, sent me back to school, and I went to college, so, uh, they sent me to college, um, it's, it was more of a community college, um, but they sent me for hardware, software, and Microsoft Network Engineering, um, so I did that, or Microsoft Networking, um, so I did that for a while, I owned my own PC company, uh, plus, uh, Matrix Creations, PC repair and web design. I also did some web design. I showed you guys the other day. I have a, I found it the other day, so I'm very proud of it because I haven't done it so long. I was reading stuff and I, I couldn't even remember that I wrote all this. Um, but this is a book. This book has nothing but scripts that I've written to design web pages. That's what all this stuff is. All this stuff is scripts. Um, as you can see, color coding's here. Um, I created my own color patterns and stuff, stuff like that. Um, so I was, I was really into it, um, and then I got really sick for, I don't know, it was probably about a year that I was fighting off, you know, being sick on an every other day basis, or an everyday basis. Um, <clears throat> so I stopped doing a lot of things. So this is my release, talking to you guys and hanging out with you guys. You know, it's, it gets me out. Um, I don't ask you guys what's going on in your lives. That's you know, that's your private stuff. I don't mind you guys coming and hanging, and I'd love it that you guys hang around. And as you see, I'm jumping around, so my meds just kicked in. Sorry, <laughs> um, I'm not focusing. I can't focus sometimes when I'm on my meds, so I try to just keep my hands busy. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to be doing the. I'm going to be standing on the drum, getting it done. I'm going to be puttying the seams, and then tomorrow, later on tonight, I'm going to do a real thin putty across it so I can just seal the seams up. Um, and then I'll paint it white. I do have the white paint. I think anyways I did. Yep, I do have the white paint. I have white paint here, just enough to do what I need to do here. Yep, should be plenty. So this is what it's going to be. This is what the thing is going to be. It's going to be gloss white from Prylon. It's going to be the color, uh, the color max paint and primer all in one. Um, I don't prime because I use the primer and paint all in one, and it usually works for me. Now, when I have to strip something, sometimes I'll take it over to. Um, to my spray booth and I'll mix up a um, white and black enamel and kind of like lightly coat it just so the paint sticks to it if I have to if I have to strip something um, but I haven't had to do that yet but I do have that in my head to do um, I also write down everything um, everything that we do on Facebook or TMA or PAA I do both um, I try to keep track of everybody and say hi to everybody that you know that's that's around and moving I try not to bother anybody um, sometimes I know I can be a pain Again, as you see, Rob, I'm jumping around. Sorry, brother. Um, so, anyway. Anybody got anything they want to know? Anything they, anybody got anything they want me to know? Who's, okay, what's your next build? Rob, I know your, I know your uh, log trailer got trashed by your kitty cat, and I hope the kitty cat is not um, um, <clears throat> gutted, stripped, and furred and hanging on your wall. <laughs> um, what are you building? What are you, you going to do? I know you're doing this, the wedge. Uh, are you doing anything else with it? Are you going to make it just like the box? Just like, are you going to do a box art? Or are you going to do customizations to it, brother? So, where was I at? Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, sorry. I'm, okay, I'm going to start focusing on this now. Now, this is a, this is a pretty big one because all this stuff has to be built. So, I'm going to go ahead and pull stuff out and start building it. Oh, also, Dave, uh, don't miss out. I'm um, going to be building this. I did an unboxing. It's on YouTube. Uh, I did an unboxing of it, so if you want to check that out. It's a uh, uh, Airfix Vintage Aircraft. RAF RE8 1918 and 172 scale. It'll be the only 172 scale. It'll be the second only 172 scale. I've only done two in all of my model building since even way back when I never did anything as small. It'll, I have done planes, but I've never done anything 172. And this is the last one that I did. I, it came out okay. I mean, I shook a little bit. Now I got to redo the brackets because I was playing with the other day. I shook and the, the top wing bracket. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. The top wing brackets came loose. So you guys can probably see that. See, I'm down there. They came loose down there, but this is you know this is what I did the for very this very first 172 scale I've ever done. So I think it came out pretty good. Um, the green is not quite what I wanted, but you know live and learn as you go along I guess. 
um, and I left the bottom of the top wing brown and I put a little brown on the bottom so it looked like, I don't know, I guess I was thinking that maybe it would look like it got some dust from, you know, trying to take off on a dusty road or something, I don't know. Anyways, that was my first 172 scale. I'm very proud of that with all my shakes and hands that I got that done. You haven't decided what you're going to do with it yet? Come on, man, you got to catch up here. <clears throat> I know, I know, I know. You think I build too fast. But with you guys around, I don't because I've been on this thing two weeks now, my wife said. So, and also, uh, uh, Dave, I'm going to be building this. I don't know if you saw that on the last video or not. I'm going to be building uh, uh, this too. Also, I'm going to do an unboxing of that. Oh, that's right. Well, you were talking about that the other day. You wanted to try to do the Hemi under glass and make it match. That sounds really cool. So I'll be doing that also. And I also still have a full... Here, Rob, I don't know if I showed everybody this or not. Okay. Yeah, everybody knows that I got um, a couple of rebuilders from Samuel Stokes. I'm sure everybody knows that. They all saw the videos. I put it on YouTube. I put it on Facebook. Everybody should know. Um, so, anyways, I, I got that truck complete. It's all done. I'm ready to roll. But this is what I have left over from going through the parts and boxes that he sent me, guys. There is an entire truck in here. An entire truck. I have everything, including extra sleepers, extra tires, the engine, um, the chassis. Everything, everything is in here. Everything is in here. There's nothing missing out of this box for an entire another 75th anniversary build. So that's another rebuilder I'm going to be doing here too. Um, Rob, that's what I want to know. I know that I have to strip this, guys. Let's talk. Let's talk about something other than this mixture for a minute. Okay. I know I have to strip all this off to make it look right. Okay. This, I'm not quite so sure what kind of paint it is. It, some of it looks like it's brushed on, but also it looks like somebody did it with maybe a, a marker or something. Can I use the? Um, brake fluid as well to pull the marker stuff off or do I need to use another chemical for that and I'm going to be stripping this as well and I want you guys to tell me what color and I'll tell you what colors I have that I can go I'm thinking orange because I'm really loving that orange I really am I don't know can you guys see that you guys can't see that can you okay so let me put it over here where you can okay so this is my idea let me know if you think it's cool okay interior stripped out to white and then I'll worry about the interior later I've already closed in the back it was all beat up and all cut up and there's a piece added in here Okay, there's an actual piece added in here to extend the sleeper just a little bit. So I have a, I have a double small sleeper in here. All right. So imagine this on a truck. Like so. I'm thinking on lowering it, making it really, really low. Okay, that's my idea. Lowering it, stretching it, leaving single axle, not putting the dual axle on the stretch, it's single axle, and putting a big, huge, let's say, a propane delivery truck with the rails and stuff with propane tanks in it or a... Um, a um, parts delivery truck for an automotive warehouse or something. You know, it's one of their personal trucks or whatever. So what color do you think I should be doing this in? You guys let me know. I, like I said, I'm thinking about the orange because I, I, I'm, I'm thinking that that orange will look awesome on this. So, and like I said, I've closed it in. So I'm not really going to do anything with the sleep room stuff because it's just closed in. It's all in, but I just wanted to close it in. And I'm going to sand all this down and putty all this in. Okay? I'm also going to give it a little bit of a lip. I'm going to try to get it to come up just a hair. Kind of something like this, kind of like an angle, just a hair, just to kind of blow the wind across. Um, I want to bring the bed rails no higher than the back of the truck, and I want to have them in here. Loosely. Not, not where it's touching the glue, but so it still moves when, it's, when the truck is running. But I also want to be able to tilt the thread forward, and if he has something like that he can dump out, tilt the bed back. So I'm going to be thinking about doing that. So, what do you think, Rob? Should I? I already have my Freightliner dump truck. Now, I don't want to make a dump truck out of it because I've already been there, done that. So, my idea, what do you think? So, and like I said, I got all the tires. Look at that. All the tires, all the rims, all the, all the rear ends, all the drive shafts, all the pipes, brand new. Uh, all the interior seats are here. You know, all the interior. Here's the chassis. Well, I have both sides. So this I'm stretching. This is the shorter version, as you can see. Okay, let's see. It's this side. Okay, so this is the shorter version for the Freightliner, okay? This is the short two uh, single axle, okay? Single drive. Now, I want to stretch it to make it a dual drive, but only leave a single drive on it and put a, a delivery box on the back. Sound cool? Copper color? Oh, I like that. I like that, Rob. Copper color. Good idea. Good idea. Dave, suggestions. Okay, do you agree to th that that would be pretty cool if I stretched it and put one axle in the rear? And I was also thinking maybe I could, uh, I saw somebody cut the inner part of the tires out. Let's say um, they did this. 
and it looked pretty cool. I forgot to save the video. I meant to. It was just so astounding. Um, they cut one side of the tire completely out, right up, right up to the lip, and they married it to another tire after they cut the inside of that one out. And it was like a double wide tire, but you couldn't tell except for the seam. And then they sanded the seam all down and painted over it. That looked pretty cool. It almost looked like slicks, but it still had the tread on it. So I'm thinking about doing that. So I want to do a dual, single axle, rear end, single drive rear end, on a stretch about that long. That's basically what I'm trying to do right there. Let me see what I can get it set for. Basically what I'm trying to do right there. Well, not with, of course it's sitting on but Anyway, get the interior. I'll probably sit better. There we go. Okay, so that's my idea. Put this and this with a single drive, and I want to make the rear end tires look like they're uh, drag slicks. And I do like the copper color. Brother, that's a good idea. I do like that color because I don't have that. So I was also thinking a rust bucket. You understand what I'm saying? Um, something that somebody used in a um, you pull it yard. You know, uh, a short and leave the sh leave the chassis short because that's an awful big cab on that little chassis, guys. And then the rear end is going to be like right in here, my, right in here where my middle finger is, right here. That's where the drive is going to basically be. So this thing is going to be a shorty boy with this big old cab on it and a double sleeper on it. So it's going to look pretty cool, too. I think that'll be a first of too. <laughs> All right, so copper color. i got to remember that. i got to write that down. Copper color. Freightliner copper color because I do like that idea. I can see that. See? Look at that, Rob. I can lose my mind. You can help me out. Copper. Freightliner copper. I got it. Rebuilder. Got it. Okay. So that means the interior should probably be something like black or a tan, I would say, with copper, yes? Yes, I have super singles on my, um, on my, um, Tyrone Malone drag truck. No, I'm not taking them off my drag truck. I love my drag truck. It was one of the, one of the very first, in the first, I don't know, three months I started building back up, four months I started building back up. Um, I have the full set. I have the hideout, and I also have the bandage. So, and they're way up there on the thing. I'll show you them later on. Um, that's also something that I... There's nothing right here. Here, look. There they are. Right there. There's both of them right there. Interior black. Yeah, see, that's what I thought, too. That's what I thought, too. So, I have extra spare tires, so I'm going to attempt that cutting the rim, cutting the cutting the centerpiece off, because they, they really looks like they just cut the bulge out and marry the two tires together after cutting two tires bulges up. So I have a couple of tires I can waste and try. Um, but that's my idea. Anyway, so, see, i got some kooky, crazy ideas how to do stuff, and that's just me. So, Samuel Stokes, i got to give him kudos, though, because he had the right idea, because he gave me the idea for the dump truck, because he because he'd already started to kind of, and he kind of um, got bored with it, I guess, um, and lost interest in it. Excuse me. So he, um, excuse me, guys. So he um, was... Ouch, literally, all right, so there we go. All right, so he was literally, I guess, uh, done with it, over it, um, and we were talking again. And again, I mentioned that I'm, I'm a big fan of AMT kits, and uh, anytime anybody wants to send me an AM kit, I'm not going to say no, and I do appreciate it. Um, if they want to send me something and they're going to have to ship it, I'll be glad to pay for shipping. I'll be glad to pay for the kit, whatever, you know, if I can afford to. Um, anyway, I do appreciate and love every, all of you guys for sending me stuff for content. Um, I did mention in the beginning when I first started all this stuff that I am doing this on my own and I try not to ask my wife for money because she does such a great job as it is. Um, and we are trying to get our trailer ready because in a year and a half we plan on moving. And that's another reason we're trying to, I'm trying not to ask her for money because I know we're, we're in the process of uprooting our entire life after being here. Uh, we've been in this house 32 years, I think. 31, 32 years we've been in this house and um, we're leaving it. You know, so Which means we have 32 years of accumulated stuff um, not really anything that we're, you know, that we're not going to try to take. Some things we're just going to purge and either give away or sell at a garage sale or give to Goodwill um, for the homeless. Uh, but pretty much all of our furniture, we're not taking pretty much any, except for antiques, any antiques we have. Uh, we have a 100-year-old dining room table. I have a 100-year-old pa uh, pie hutch. Uh, we've got an 80-year-old a um, stereo, uh, console stereo, big stereo console that has a turntable in it that works. Everything works. Uh, stuff like that. Um, this big cabinet in my living room won't be going. We're probably not taking our recliner. We're probably not taking our couch. Uh, we're going to try to buy a big piece of land and live on our trailer. Uh, Dave, if you haven't seen my trailer, I have a video of that also available on Plastic, uh, Plastic Addictions on YouTube. 
white in the interior. That's a good idea too, because then I could just strip it and leave it as is, and maybe put some um, copper stripes on the seats or something to kind of look, make it look a little different. Oh, you know what I saw the other day at, home, at um, Dollar Store? They have this tape. It's kind of like masking tape. It's kind of like box tape that has different um, colors on it. And I saw a copper and brown one the other day, a copper and tan one. Rather. That's why I guess I thought of tan. Maybe I'll get some of that tape and see if I can cut it down and make it look like um, the wallpaper in the back of it or something when you're, when you're looking through the tab to see the back wall. Maybe I'll do that. Um, anyways, all right, so let's go ahead and get started with the... I got the, I got the CB radio glued into place. I got to put this back on <coughs> tight and bring it back over here. There we go. Sorry, guys. I just gave you guys a, a better view. That's all. All right. Look. I like seeing my 57 show in the background. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, dude. Believe me, I won't because I know that um, I know for 30 years, minimum 20 years, 25 years from minimum, I've had my back porch closed in, and that's where any of my, how should I say, um, can't throw away, just can't throw them away. I have to keep them. I have to take them with me because I'm going to use them in my model room or I'm going to use them in my work room or it's a cabinet that we took out of the house to put another cabinet in which we're going to throw away. So I know exactly what's going on back there because I've been through the entire back portion. So the hardest part's going to be my wife and I's closet because my wife has shoes and clothes galore. So we'll be purging there. Um, I've pretty much purged all my clothes and stuff already. Um, and years ago, we got rid of a bunch of my, we got a bunch of, we got rid of a bunch of my, um, concert trips. what's the matter with you? There's a fly in the house. Oh my God. Remember guys, I told you my dog wasn't scared of flies, right? He's a hundred pound fur and teeth, but he's scared of flies. Literally, oops, dang it. Literally, there's a fly in my house over here on my floor and he won't go past it. He's scared. He's scared of, he's scared of a fly, man. Literally, I told you. See, that's exactly what it was. Fly was over here on the ground, and he would not go anywhere near that fly while that fly was on the ground. He is such a big sissy. But I love him. Gotta love him. Can't help but love him. Oop. Okay, so I'm missing a, I'm missing a window. I got to find my window. I just dropped it. So, oh, there it is. Got it. There's the back window, and there's the other uh, side window. All right. Also, guys, this is Florida. Now in Florida, we always have air conditioning. Okay, in our cars, we should anyways. So, now saying, that being said, I, on my last build, even on my, think, on what was it? On the, oh, on the IH, the International Harvester 4300, I cut the wing vent off here. I cut the wing vent off here and only put the wing vent in and left the windows open. Now, on this truck, scratch on it, I got a buff off. On this truck, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the whole enclosed window because it is a construction truck and it is dusty where he goes and if he does keep his interior nice and clean he doesn't want dust all in it so he will have the windows closed and if it's too super hot he'll close the windows so um i'm also thinking on figuring trying to figure out a way to get the windows to be like partially down but that means i would have to cut literally cut both of uh, cut number one cut the wing vent off Number one, I'd have to cut the wing vent off, put the wing vent in, and then cut the window in half. What do you think? Idea? No idea? Bad idea? What do you think? Oh, the dog? Yeah, Rob, you have no Rob, you have no idea, brother. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, dude. My dog, I'm telling you, he's 100 pounds fur and teeth. Dude, people walk on the other side of the road when he's out front because he's so big and he sounds so vicious at the fence when, when he's barking at him, tell him about it. But dude, put this dog into a bedroom with two flies. Just two. Just two. Okay? And, guess what? He will be whining, sitting at the door, trying to get out to get next to one of us for us to protect him. If it's in our living room, he will get up from the living room, watch that fly like a hawk as he walks by, and go run and hide down next to my wife's bed. Next to the bed next to my wife. I'm serious. This, this, this dog literally does not like anything flying over. If you're carrying a bag and you put it over his head, I don't know what has ever happened to him. He hasn't, you know, we love our animals. Of course we don't beat our animals. Of course we don't do nothing. It's just one of his little quirks that he has and he's had ever since day one since we got him. He's been that timid, shy little thing. So... I, we treat him, you know, and he, like I said, 
they will walk across the street if he starts barking at the fence and running back and forth because he sounds like he would eat you. He, dude, I'm telling you, I'll have my wife make a video one night of us playing, and it literally sounds like he wants to eat me. Okay, I mean, he is growling, snarling, hair up, teeth showing, I, coming at me with, you know, trying to yank the stuff out of my hands. And, you know, he's 100 pounds, so he moves me around. But it's funny as crap because I know better. If I raise my voice yell loud and yell or clap my hands real loud or put my hands over his head for some reason, he literally calms right down. He's like, whoa, wait a minute, there's something above me. Oh, wait a minute, that was a sharp noise. You can literally scare him by closing the garbage can lid while he's standing there eating. Dead serious, guys. Outside with his nose in a bush, a lizard jumps from the tree to the wall. He trips out because something moved in the bush while his head was in the bush. The dog kills me, brother. It really does. Um, anyway, <laughs> now you guys know the secret. My doggy is a wuss. Secret's out now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the windows in. Try to put the windows in. Um, I really don't know if I want to do this or not, guys. I really don't. I'm sorry to say this because I am shaking a little bit. Um, but I want to get moving on this. And I really can't do what I want to do until I have this ready to actually be installed and I can get the front end and everything. Then I can just move on to the back. I don't think I'm missing anything. I will look tonight through the instructions to make sure I haven't missed anything. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't like the sound of the Nerf gun when it pops, I guess, huh? Wow. That's interesting. That's got to be an ear thing. That's pretty cool, actually. Because this guy over here, we play Nerf guns all the time. He doesn't care about that. We can, we, I can literally chase dude. You saw, I don't know if you saw my video. Rob, you're on, you're on my Insta, uh, my um, TikTok now. So I know you went through my videos, looked at my videos. Did you see the one with the dog running around the yard? Uh, that is him in his crazy mode. All I have to do is kind of stand still for a second and glare at him and stomp my foot once. And it puts him into triple overdrive. And he just freaks out. And it doesn't matter what you do if he runs right. But he will knock you down. He will try to get in the most tightest place. He will try to squeeze his 100-pound butt into a space that big to get through to get past you. Or he will knock you down trying to do so. So you got to watch out with him because he's, he's definitely a, he's definitely a, an animal that says, Woohoo, I'm having fun. So um, the way I do my, if I do keep the windows in just so everybody knows, back to this. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not. Okay, here. The, the, the wing vent brace. That's right here. The wing vent brace is right here. That's where I would glue. I would sand a little bit down here, and I would put my glue in there. There's a crease in here in the plastic. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a crease right there in the plastic, and that's where that wing vent goes. So I would. I, that's how I do this. I sand this down because it's got to get glued somewhere. So I sand that down. Um, and if it looks too bad, like if it's a really dark paint job or something, and it looks too bad, I'll come back over it after I'm done with a um, black Sharpie, if it's a black color or whatever. I got it buttload of Sharpies over here that I use. Um, I try not to get anything else except for that rail. Just that little rail piece. And I don't try to, you know, I don't want to scratch it way down and I don't want to break it, so I don't put much pressure on it. So. Okay, that's cool. No, Rob, they're not going nowhere, brother. I make one every day. Um, I try to, just like I say, good morning to everybody here. I try to make a good morning, you know. This is Joe from sunny South Florida. I'm sure you, <laughs> sure you get a kick out of that. Um, um, I, I post stupid little crap stuff. I don't do this these trend things, you know, where they're singing or dancing or whatever. I just kind of say good morning and make little funny stickers on my good mornings and stuff like this. I don't, I, I'm not looking for... It was just something fun. Um, it was more of a relax after doing an hour video here and trying to keep focused on what I'm doing, which, as you see, isn't too well today. <laughs> um, I try to just make funny stuff, man. You know, that's all. Good morning from Joe from South Florida. And I kind of give everybody an update what I'm doing on the day and... I don't do a live there, um, even though I have a hack pro. I found a way to do it. That they say you need. They say you need a thousand subscribers to go live. Um, I found another way to do it, as I did from my phone for YouTube, because they won't let me go live on my phone. Um, but my OBS lets me. Same thing with the TikTok. My OBS lets me. So I, um, I can, but I don't. I don't. I, I did do a um, video when I was doing the trailer um, seals, slide out seals. I don't know why this damn thing ain't standing. I think he got that much paint on it. And I'm heating it up, I can feel it. Alright, okay, there we go. Now we're cruising. Now we're cruising. Yeah, we better with me. Try not to hurt anything. I, don't want, I, got a little, I got a little bit of it now, which might be enough, but I want to try to make sure I get a little bit more. Oh, there we go. That's better. You guys see what I'm doing okay? Okay. 
You guys hearing me okay? Uh, the one video this morning? No, it's actually a voiceover. Um, that's on uh, TikTok. You saw that one. <laughs> that's that's just me having fun going through the stuff, trying to learn the software. Um, I found one that said helium, and when I played it with my voice, I just loved it, so I went ahead and used it. Um, like I said, I make stupid videos like that, Rob. It's just just me being dumb. Um, again, Dave, are you still in there, Ron, brother? Or did you have to rock and roll? I'm almost out an hour, guys. I don't, try, I don't want to bother you guys any more than an hour a day. I know you guys got lives. And I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with me. I really do. Okay, so I think I did that one just good enough. I'm just going to try to put in the thing. Oh, cool. Well, at least one side works. And I'm sorry, guys, about the sound when it comes to Facebook. But you can tell with my TikToks, Rob, and my YouTube that it's not me, man. It's not my camera and stuff. It's, it's got to be what Facebook is doing with the video. You know? And I don't understand that. Because um, even my recordings through through Facebook, if I record at the same time, they're even slow. So it's the, it's the software for their live programming, something they don't have set right. And I know other people that do it that don't have that problem. So it's got to be, it might even be a setting I'm not seeing. You know what I'm saying? Um or not knowing about, so I'll have to check into that. But I am, I do have a stand microphone coming that's about that big, and it's supposedly got an amp for it to boost the signal out to the computer, so I'm hoping that works. Um, it's supposed to be a mic that you can do, a, literally a multimedia mic. Um, you're supposed to be able to use on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. You're supposed to be able to use it anywhere. It's supposed to have software that recognizes all those things and has adjustments in each and every one of those. Um, I did also notice I might not have to use the OBS Live, if I go straight through to my camera from the Facebook Live, and they have a new uh, beta program going on where you can add pictures to your video, kind of like I'm doing here. They're kind of like copying OBS, and they're doing it as well. So that's kind of weird to me because I'm, I'm kind of, you know, they're kind of, OBS was the first one I learned about this stuff because my son turned me on to it. So. Um, all right, so let's see if we can't clean up these glasses and get at least the sides in today. Um. I appreciate everybody again. Facebook, uh, make sure you turn those notifications on so you know I'm coming and going. Um, I guess Dave is out. Appreciate you, Dave, buddy. Hope you're feeling okay. Hope you're healing well. I may be totally wrong. I'm talking to the wrong person too, though. So, all right. So, I know that there's a lip going around, so I know it goes in here like so. So I'm just gonna check for fit, see if I have to trim anything out or if I have to do anything to make it fit where it's supposed to go. It does look like it's going to give me a problem going into place where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to kind of kind of snap into that that little gully there, but it's not doing it, so I need to take a look and see what I gotta do. Um, but I think I can get it to work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. okay all right, so I'm gonna get it. So all I'm gonna do, really, is I'm gonna take a little bit of super glue. No, I'm not gonna use super glue, because that'll, that'll mess up my nose. I'm gonna use my window glue. Um, so I'm going to take a little bit of my window glue, after I clean off my fingers, and I'm just going to drop a little line right where I did the sanding. I know, Rob, you know all this stuff, but I'm just kind of talking to YouTube as well, brother. And I know you know that too. Man, I'm excited to get that bulldozer, Rob. Back to the bulldozer. I'm excited. Oh, crap. I'm just, I'm excited to get that bulldozer, brother. Trust me. My wife even said I can order a low boy. Ha! Because she was going to order me the $75 one. Dude, that's exactly what she was going to do next. We were going to get the bulldozer to go with all my construction stuff. You know, I have the I have the um, MPC triaxle dump trailer up there. I have the um, I have the auto car dump truck. I have the uh, I'm gonna the, the I have the Mac R65 R65B I think it is or B R6 whatever R65A whatever it's called. Anyways, um, I have that that I'm gonna put on the low boy. And that's the one. I, that's the one I want to do all of the weathering to. I want to make it look like it's been on a construction site, and then I'll make the decision if I'm going to do that with this one or not. But I'm not sure. If I'm not for sure yet. Um, I kind of like the idea of weathering because it does make it look like it's real. And I was very appreciative of the guy that my buddy sent the, uh, that sent somebody over yesterday, and I was able to take one one pictures of a cement mixer. So now I kind of kind of got to see, you know, in pictures what the weathering effect would look like because this truck was dirty. So I kind of get that idea. Um, bear with me, guys, while I try to do this. Um, 
I don't know how well this is going to work. Let me find my tape. First thing I need to do is find my tape. There it is, okay. And I need to run my tape across here. Like so, I think I'm going to do it. Whoops, wrong way, right? Oh, that's the right way. Okay, so here, like so. This way I can peel it off later. Now, if this works out the way I think it's supposed to, I should be able to carry this right down into here. Get it right where I want it. Release this piece of tape from my finger. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Slide this over a little bit. Get it right into place. And tape it into place. Oh man, I got it all over the damn window. Damn it. Oh no, I didn't. That's the tape. Okay, so supposedly we got a window in. Yay! Alright, so let that set up for the night. Oh man, I just knocked the damn visor off. Man. See, that's why I hate... They, they wanted me to put all this stuff on the cabin and stuff. Man, I can't do that yet. <laughs> I need to call the guy who designed this truck. <laughs> Tell him, hey, man. You can't make people do crap like that. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just trying to make sure to use my shirt to get a little bit of the edges clean. Looks pretty good. Okay, the tape is going to settle in. It's just scotch tape, and I left it up at the end a little bit. So there we go. There's one. One down. It does look like it's got something on it, but it doesn't. That's fingerprints for the tape from the inside, just so everybody knows. I didn't mess it all up, I hope. I don't know if I'm doing the tape thing on the other side either. I think because I taped that one. I'm just going to lay this one down, like so, and let it be that way. So let's try that. So, anyway, like I was saying, Rob, I am super excited to get that bulldozer because that's the next one that I wanted to get. It really is. I don't know how you figured that out, or uh, you probably didn't even think about that, but... Uh, I haven't mentioned it, but that was the next one I wanted to get. I've never mentioned it on Facebook. So that's why I was very surprised when you said that you were sending me the dozer because my wife and I, last weekend, we were talking about what, what I wanted for my next build from her. And she said that she wanted to get me a bull, the, the bulldozer I wanted. And I said, oh, cool. And she says, I saw one on Amazon that also has the trailer. Is that the low boy you're talking about? I was like, yeah. She says the two of them are 75 bucks, so they're less than 40 bucks a piece. So it's like building, it's like buying you two kits. So she was going to do that for me. Um, but I told her, you're getting me the bulldozer, so now for, I think it's 29 or 34, something like that, I'm getting the low boy. So, I will have something to put it on, brother. And that means I need to rearrange all my models again. <laughs> and I lost my step over here. There it is. So, see, that's what I'm saying. That's why I hate putting all this other stuff on, I'm still having to handle it. Alright, so I'm going to put these two on the side over here, because I got these two windows in. And I'm going to start building the, um, hydraulic box and stuff for the... Uh, barrel. So let's put these back away. Like I said, everybody, I loaded my lights. It's all right. She's all right. She'll do fine. <laughs> I see it. I see it. I got a buddy down the street that has a um, part pit bull. Her name is Savage. And ever since she was a, I don't know, I guess ever since she was like a 12 week old puppy, um, every time she sees me, she gets so freaking excited, brother. And she's all over me when I go down, all over me. And Zeus freaks out when I get home because, you know, he's smelling another dog on me. And he don't like that. You know, he gives me that dirty look afterwards, you know, that, oh, you've been touching another dog. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's, that's why it's hard for me to, uh, I see what you're saying. That's why it's also hard for me to follow, you know, because I want to put things on differently. Like, I want to paint this. I want to leave the ring. I want to do the ring. Kind of, I think I want to do the ring black. And I want to do the um, chain silver. Or like, like a silver. I don't, I'm not sure exactly. But that means I need to paint the chain first. And then come around with the black. So I can't put that on yet. Which is part of this instructions. Um, I need to paint the drum. I need to paint the... I need to paint this bracket. This bracket is called... Man, I can't even read that thing. Wow, I can't even read that thing. Called the rollers. Aha! So there's rollers that go in place on the. Oh, I see what they're doing there. Okay, so mixer frame is one. Shoot positioning mount. Hose mount. Got it. Rear drum support back. Got it. That's that big, that's that big, this big thing. Where to go? That's this big thing. That's rear drum support back. Uh, this is the 
trunnion bearing goes in there on the top of the front drum. This is the front drum, and there's a trunnion bearing that goes on the top of that up here. So, it goes something like so. Oops. So I'm shaking too much. I know you guys can't really see the shake. Believe me, I'm shaking my butt off. Um, so now I have to build the hydraulic oil tank and the gearbox, which is three pieces. So I need to find the gearbox and the tank. Oh, it's Caesar. Caesar should know. He should be on Facebook. Uh, he's heard it. Here is back, by the way. Anybody that wants to know. Um, he's still out there working, but he heard his back. So give me a second here to say, hey. Hey, I'm alive. Glad to hear him. Hey, I'm alive. All right, there we go. Anyways, okay, so where was I? Oh, yeah, we were looking at parts that I needed to find. Okay, so I got that off. I need to pull all these parts off, so I'm ready. And I already got that part off, too. I saw it. 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 I'm just hoping it's not that part right there. I think that's actually that part right there. I think I put it in the wrong fucking place. Wrong freaking place. Excuse me. Oh, man, I did. All right, time to pop the piece off. See what I mean? It really blows me. But this one wasn't glued real well, so I hope it pops right off. What is it? There we go. Popped right off clean. Awesome possum. Yep, got it popped right off clean. Okay, cool. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I was wondering why that was leaning like that. It wasn't supposed to. So I left this loose because that's what they said to do. It's supposed to be the shifter lever that you can move. So you can move it. So that's what I did. So it goes right into that. So I left it there. It's supposed to be able to move it, pull, it, pull it out to get into the gear and push it back. And it's a manual release, supposedly. So I left it loose. Okay, that's it. Okay, all right, go. So now, um, this is showing that this is exactly the way I had it just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into place as well. Um, it doesn't show me, oh, it does show me that it goes to the back side here. Okay, so this rail, when you put the, when you put the bottom rail, top, bottom rail in for the drum, um, I'm going to sand this down a bit, all the way down and all the way down here, okay? It goes with these knots up. up. So it shows in the instructions, these knots up because the um, <clears throat> hydraulic oil tank goes over top of these nuts, okay, these pumps. Um, and the back end here, don't put it too close to these, other brackets back here because you have to put this in its place so this has to go in here this way I think is what it is no nope, it goes this way my bad okay so it goes in here like this so you have to leave enough room I don't know if you guys can see it or not but here let me show you this way um, you have to leave enough room there's a there's a stop here see that right there there's the stop right there let me see if I can pick this up and show you I hate picking it up let me see if I can show you here we go okay you see these right here these two there's a, a lift the, there's a lift between the actual chassis and the back end of the truck. That gives you the assumption that this piece, where'd it go? This piece would go all the way up against it. It does not. You cannot put this piece all the way up against there because this piece has to go in here eventually, just like this. That's the way it shows. So I have to make sure we have you have to make sure that you got room for this piece to go in because there's another piece that connects onto here that goes down into here. Okay, from what it shows. Okay, and it's called the chute positioner mount. Okay, so I guess that's where the pivot for the chute back and forth goes. All right, so we got that. So I have to make sure that this goes there. And I see why, because if you put the... Oh, wait, I'm upside down, I think. I was, I was upside down. Okay, so anyways, this should fit right perfectly. There's lips here and here. I'll show you when I sand it down. But I'm going to sand this down. I'm going to put this right into here. And I'm going to leave just enough space, like they're requesting, just enough space in here to put this in. Because that's exactly where that goes. That would go just like that. I can't let it go. But that goes like that. Okay? And then your drum, of course, goes in here like so. Then your drum, of course, goes in here like so. Alright? So that's basically what that is right there. Alright? With the chassis and with the chassis, the bottom chassis plate in place. Alright, so we can do that also as well. Um, 
I did not see a water tank as of yet, but I do know that it has to because it has a garden hose and it has a garden handle, that spray handle, for washing it down. So I'm assuming it does, but I have not seen it as of yet. I'm looking now that you got me at, you got me thinking about it. I do not see one as of yet. Let's see what it says here. See, I had to, I had to bypass most of 10. See what I'm saying? Because it has all the extras on the cab, and I haven't even got the cab finished yet. So I had to bypass all this. i got to come back to this and do all this. All I have is the grill in. I have nothing else in place. You know, so i got to go come back to 10 after we're done with 11. And 11 is just kind of like, like I said, I was trying to let everything dry. Now that I know that I where to put this, I know now that this goes here. I, I can now put this on and get it secured into place. Because it doesn't move, it's supposed to be flat down on it. So, because all the other components go on it, so I, I can do that today. I'll do that later on today. Um, I'm gonna be out of here, guys. I'm done. I appreciate everybody coming in and hanging. Rob, I love you, brother. I appreciate it. Um, I will be. I will try to be back on later on. Like I said, it was a rough night, so I'm gonna be resting a lot today. Um, I'm gonna get a couple more things done in the background, and we'll talk about that tomorrow morning's show. Hope everybody has an amazing day. Hope everybody has. Um, an awesome, sunshiny, beautiful, heart-filled love day. <laughs> um, y'all take it easy and y'all be safe out there. It's Joe. I'm out of here. I'm signing off. Rob, I'll yell at you later on, brother. All right? I'm going to run. Um, my kid just got up and I think I need to him some breakfast. So I'm out of here and I know my meds in about 20 minutes are going to kick in and I'm not going to be coherent. <laughs> so love you guys. I'll check you guys later on. Thanks for coming and hanging. Uh, shout out to Dave, Rob. You guys are great for hanging out and showing up today. Um, I appreciate you. Um, I know I'm a pain in the rumple still skin, but I do appreciate it. Blizzard Dave, Mopar winner, and Rob Shugru. Uh, I appreciate it, brother. I really do you to you. Um, I appreciate you guys coming in. I am going to, um, later on today, I'm going to be working on the trailer doing the steps. I'm going to try to later on in the evening anyways when it's not too hot. Um, but I'm out of here. Peace, everybody. Love. Check y'all later. I'm out.